Hi everyone, as 2018 is now well underway, I figured it would be a good time to uh, give kind of a state of the union of LEAF, uh, what we've accomplished thanks to you in 2017 and what our plans are in 2018. A uh, battle report from the life extension front, if you will. It's also my birthday today, so there's that. The first big piece of news I'd like to share is thanks to all of you, we've just hit our $5,000 a month goal on our Heroes campaign, which will allow us to really improve Lifespan.io and our blog, uh, which I'll talk about in a little while, and will also allow us to go after some really exciting collaborations like we did with Kurzgesagt, which as you probably know, went all over the internet and was very exciting to get all those eyeballs on this important cause. So thank you again to all of you who are supporting us. It means more than anything I can say. Speaking of Lifespan.io, in 2017, thanks to your help, we were not only able to fund a project based on better detection of senescent cells for their removal, but also two biomarker-focused projects that will help to serve as benchmarks for all other longevity-focused therapies, and is an important piece of the puzzle to help move the industry forward. You did that. During 2017, our social media presence also continued to explode, which is helping to get news coverage of this research really radiate out. This in turn contributes to our movement being able to actually influence policy on a global scale, as evinced by the effect that all of us had on the World Health Organization's program of work. If you recall, initially when the WHO put out the report, there was no focus on aging or the elderly at all. Through our action, together with other organizations, we were able to change that, and they issued a statement saying that they're going to make this a focus. And beyond LEAF, there have been a lot of other successes in the movement as well. SENS raising a ton of money this year and winning the Project for Awesome contest, and Y Combinator opening up an accelerator specifically for aging research biotech. That's a big deal. So already, together, we're able to make a difference in a variety of ways, and I don't see any sign of that slowing in 2018. In this new year, we're going to be working harder than ever to deliver on our stated promises and keep driving the needle forward in regards to aging research. That means more live journal clubs where we review papers together with you, more collaborations to get the word out and start dialogues about this important topic, and more campaigns where together we can fund critical research into overcoming age-related disease. For example, although it took a long time to truly come together, in the next few months we should finally be launching a campaign with David Sinclair's lab to further explore the effects of NMN, which has shown promising results in mice and has gotten a lot of buzz in the news, and I know a lot of you have been waiting for this one for a long time. So keep your ear to the ground for that. We should also be launching more campaigns with SENS, and we have a couple of others in the pipeline as well. So 2018 should be very exciting for research, and one of my personal goals uh, for LEAF and for the movement is I hope that for one of these campaigns we can raise over six figures. Uh, I think that would raise a lot of eyebrows in the research community and really kind of bring more positive attention and get more credible and exciting projects through our pipeline. And again, if that happens, that will be thanks to you. This year, we're also going to be focusing on trying to give you all more ways to contribute to the cause as well. So for example, we now have open submissions for writing on our blog. So if you'd like to maybe uh, write something with us, feel free to email writing at lifespan.io. We are also going to be making available more tools that allow the community to really mobilize and act. So for example, calendars of events, tools that will facilitate you writing your local congressman or congresswoman, and downloadable event kits that will allow you to easily structure and host your own events in support of Life Extension. It should truly be an exciting time to be alive. And on that point, I do want to express as a bit of a personal note that uh, I do think that we're at a watershed moment here. I personally have been at this for, for a while now, and I do really feel in the last few years something is changing. People are noticing the narrative has changed, the dialogue around this is much more positive. It's no longer, this is crazy or impossible. The conversation has shifted to, okay, it might be possible, but should we? And uh, I think that's very positive, and that's a dialogue that we can certainly engage. and show the world why yes we should yes it is a good idea to keep people healthy if they want to be and to allow people to enjoy life uh, for as long as they want to i think we are able to stand up and say yes this is a good thing and i think we can win i think together we can win and i want to thank you for being the tip of the spear with me um, again to be very uh <laughs> to be a little bit honest you know maybe overly honest 
uh, it can be very hard sometimes to you know drag yourself out of bed and to, to keep up this fight when it feels like uh, everyone uh, might not be paying attention to the the real issues that really affect and, and harm people uh, when you're trying to in a sense save the world and to know that there is a an army of people out there standing shoulder to shoulder with me and uh, our board members at LEAF. I can't tell you how much that means to me personally and I want to express that to you. Uh, again, sincere thanks and again a sincere optimism that I think this is a battle that we can win and I think we're bringing that time very close indeed. And here's to making 2018 another year that leaps us ever forward to happier and healthier lifespans for all. Thank you.